A Stolen Life by J.C. Dugard is a harrowing memoir that details her abduction at the age of 11 and her subsequent 18 years of captivity. The book offers an intimate look into her experiences during this period, her psychological and physical abuse, and her eventual escape. Introduction. J.C. Dugard begins her memoir by recounting the traumatic day of her abduction in 1991. At just 11 years old, she was kidnapped on her way to school in South Lake Tahoe, California, by Philip and Nancy Garrido. The book captures her initial feelings of fear and confusion, setting the stage for the long ordeal that followed. Life in Captivity, J.C. describes her initial shock and terror during the early days of her captivity. She was taken to the Garrido's home in Antioch, California, where she was kept in a concealed backyard compound consisting of soundproof sheds and high fences designed to keep her isolated and prevent her escape. Early Days, J.C. details her early experiences, including the abuse inflicted by Philip Garrido. He controlled her through fear and manipulation, subjecting her to repeated sexual assaults. Isolation, one of the most profound aspects of her captivity, was the extreme isolation. J.C. was completely cut off from the outside world, with no contact with her family or friends. She had no idea if anyone was looking for her or if she would ever be found. Psychological manipulation. Philip Garrido used a combination of threats, lies, and psychological manipulation to maintain control over J.C. He convinced her that any attempt to escape would result in severe consequences for her and her family. Motherhood. During her captivity, J.C. gave birth to two daughters, fathered by Garrido. She describes the complex emotions she experienced, including the joy of motherhood mingled with the sorrow of their situation. Naming her daughters was a significant act of asserting some control over her life. Daily life. J.C. details the routine of her life in captivity. She was forced to do household chores and maintain the backyard compound. Over time, she was allowed some limited freedoms within the confines of the Garrido's property, but remained under constant surveillance. Coping Mechanisms To survive, J.C. developed coping mechanisms. She created an imaginary world to escape to mentally, wrote in journals, and found solace in her daughters. The Road to Freedom The turning point came in 2009, when Garrido's suspicious behavior caught the attention of law enforcement. After a series of events, including a meeting with his parole officer, the truth about J.C.'s identity was uncovered. Revelation and Rescue J.C. recounts the day she was finally freed. She was taken to the police station, where she identified herself and was reunited with her family. The emotional reunion was a moment of overwhelming relief and joy, aftermath and recovery. Following her rescue, J.C. faced the daunting task of reintegrating into society and healing from the trauma of her captivity. She describes her journey of recovery, including reconnecting with her family, seeking therapy, and adjusting to the world she had been cut off from for nearly two decades. Writing the memoir, Writing a Stolen Life, was part of J.C.'s healing process. She wanted to share her story to help others understand the reality of long-term captivity and the resilience of the human spirit. Conclusion. In A Stolen Life, J.C. Dugard provides a harrowing yet inspirational account of her 18 years of captivity and her journey to freedom and healing. Her memoir is a powerful testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the capacity for recovery in the face of profound trauma. By sharing her story, J.C. not only reclaims her voice, but also offers hope and strength to others who have faced similar adversities. Her unwavering courage and determination to rebuild her life serve as a poignant reminder of the enduring power of hope and the possibility of new beginnings.